Hey YouTube, today I wanted to upload a video showing how I changed my app icons in my dock. So this is really simple. Um, today I'm going to show you how to change my Skype icon because this one I updated Skype and it changed back so I'm going to go ahead and change that one. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and search for an icon that you like what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and just Google Skype icon. Go to Google Images, and I'm just gonna scroll down until I find one I like. Okay, guys. So I think I decided I'm gonna go ahead with go with this one, just to change things up. So go ahead and click on the image, and I'm just gonna drag and drop this onto my desktop. There we go. Okay. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go open up Finder and go to applications let all your applications load and then find the application that you're changing the icon of so I'm changing Skype so I see Skype right click and get and do get info and it'll open up a little message on the right as you can see right here okay I'm gonna go ahead and close applications now now open up the picture that you want to change it to Let that load. It's interesting. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Command C. Then up here, click on this icon right here next to the Skype.app or whatever app you're changing, and it'll kind of highlight a little bit around it. Now do Command V to paste, and it'll paste the new icon. Now after you do that, if you're looking at your icon and you're saying, hey, it didn't change, you might have to reload the app. So my app is still open, so I'm going to go ahead and quit it. Still hasn't changed, and when I open it back up, there it goes. It changes. You can do this with absolutely any icon. Make sure that when you're looking for the image, that you get an image that does not have some sort of background. As you can see with this image, there's no background. It is just the icon. That way that when you're at the dock or whatever, you don't have like a square white with the icon in the middle. You can also go ahead and edit your own images. If you go into applications and go to an image that hasn't been changed, something like my iMovie. Oh, sorry, I have the net up. Force quit. You can do get info. And you can just copy and paste the iMovie into an application like Photoshop and edit it yourself. I hope this tutorial was nice and easy. And you guys can change some cool icons. If you guys find any icons that are really cool that you changed, go ahead and make a really short video or just send me the link to the icon you used. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, see you guys next time.